Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Life Nuggets. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? I know it's raining all over the world, like the old song said. And uh, been uh, praying with a couple of folks from church tonight and uh, just getting ready for what God is going to do. I'm telling you, he's moving, he's shaking, he's changing, arranging. He's making a way just for you and me. Can I get an amen? So I want to speak to you about a message that I ministered on Friday night uh, at Hope for Women and Sunday night at TC, which we had incredible services and outpourings <clears throat> both Friday and Sunday night. It was absolutely phenomenal. As God is doing a great work, Sunday morning services at RCF have been doing great. We've had at least 15 saved since Easter on Sunday mornings, and uh, people are just getting on fire, and it's really awesome. So if you need a church to come to, come to RCF Restoration Christian Fellowship on Skyline Drive and Warrior, exit 28465 North, and I promise you will be blessed. Now, an overcomer, you know, in Revelation uh, 2 and 3, when Jesus was uh, uh, speaking, the the, the 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 Holy Spirit was speaking to to John, and uh, and Jesus was saying, "Hey, he who overcomes will inherit all this. He who overcomes, I'll give a new name that only he knows. He who overcomes will rule and reign with me on my throne, just like I overcame and you know reign with the Lord on His throne. You know, he who overcomes will be a pillar in the house of my God." Hallelujah. And of course, uh, 1 John says, uh, he, who is he who overcomes? You know, he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God shall overcome. Say, I shall overcome. Because you see, because he overcame, you too shall overcome. And I just wanted to bring a word of encouragement to you tonight. Uh, hallelujah, that through Jesus Christ, through the Word of God, through the power of the Spirit, hallelujah, it is God's will that you overcome, hallelujah, and be a uh, blessed, hallelujah, so you can be a blessing. Whatever you're facing tonight, whatever sickness, whatever situation, whatever addiction, whatever financial struggle, whatever a marital struggle, whatever... A ch church struggle. Whatever you're struggling with in business, I want you to know that, hallelujah, you can, shall overcome <clears throat> because, um, hallelujah, we're more than conquerors. Say, I'm more than a conqueror through him who loves me. I'm in the Greek, Hooper Nikeo. That's one who achieves overflowing overcoming victory in Jesus' name. As a matter of fact, hallelujah, overcomer is from a Greek word where we get our word Nike from. And of course, we know the Nike logo is just do it, just do it. But it stems from the Greek Nike, listen to me now, which means to carry off the victory. Hallelujah. So whatever problem you're facing... God wants you to carry off the victory, hallelujah, because this is the victory, even our faith in Jesus and what he did for us. That simple faith of a mustard seed, my friend, can move the mountain. That simple faith, hallelujah, okay, can move the situation, raise the valley, move the mountain, Bring forth the healing. Bring forth the provision. Bring forth the deliverance in your life. If you just say, I believe, Lord. I believe, hallelujah, that Jesus said, you shall overcome. Because he overcame, we too shall overcome. So what, so what, what do you mean overcome? Well, the Lord wants us to overcome. So number one, everybody say number one. We can live an exultant life, an exultant life, a happy life, a jubilant. That word means, uh, exultant means jubilant. It means happy. It means powerful. God don't want you down and out in Beverly Hills. 
God don't want you broke, busted, and disgusted, and living in lack all the time, living in despair, living in discouragement, living in uh, low to bar. Glory to God. God wants to lift you. He wants you to overcome. Uh, hallelujah. And you shall overcome because he overcame. Uh, and greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. My friend, shake yourself right now and say, I will overcome this problem. I will overcome this sickness. I will overcome this poverty. I will overcome this addiction. I will overcome this wound and this hurt. My gosh, my friends, he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up all their wounds. Can I get an amen? So we overcome to live an exultant life. Hello, what is that? Romans 8. See, you got to know that nothing, shout nothing, can separate you from the love of God. Neither height, nor depth, nor present, nor future, nor any powers, nor any devil, nor any problem, nor any rear end, nor any turkey, man, or some jerk, can, or no situation can separate you from the love of God. Hallelujah. That's how you know you're going to overcome right in the midst. God wants you to exalt. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be praiseful. He wants you to be worshipful. I, I just prayed with a sister a little while ago, and I said, Sister, start dancing in the rain. Start worshiping in the rain. Start proclaiming your victory in the rain. Don't sit there mully grubbing. Don't sit there complaining. You've complained too long. You've mulled up through long. You've been lonely too long. I've been lonely too long. Motown. Don't do it another moment. Can I get an amen? But rise up as an overcomer through and in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And be exultant. Be jubilant knowing, hallelujah, that nothing can separate you from, from God and the love of God because you are more and I conquer. Number two, if I say number two, know this, in the midst of it all, uh, the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the, the trouble, in the midst of the turmoil, God wants you to live an exultant life, overcoming, knowing, number two, that he is your provider. Look at the birds of the air. Look at the grass of the field. You ought to see, you ought to see Sherry's flowers. Let me try to get you a little shot of this. You see that orange and yellow? Hey, Amen. They're showing out. God, look, look at this over here. Let me run down the back of the back. Look at this. Look at that. Purples and oranges and yellows. I'm telling you, friends, they're showing out. God does that. And if he so clothes the grass of the field, if he so gives you, hallelujah, the bird's food, how much more, say how much more, will he clothe you and meet your need? So don't even begin to worry saying, what shall I eat? What shall I drink? What shall I do? Know that your heavenly Father knows, but he wants you to ask. Can I get an amen? And so what do we need to do to be an overcomer? An overcomer who lives an exultant, jubilant life seeks first the kingdom of God. While the whole world runs after everything, we seek first, an overcomer seeks first the kingdom. You know what happens? Then the Lord adds it to them. You know what? They carry, uh, they carry off the victory. Not one time, but every time. My friends, we're in a battle. And God wants you to understand you're living in war. It's warfare. And an overcomer fights the battle in Jesus' name and overcomes and carries home the victory, brings home the bacon, brings home the provision. Hallelujah. I just say grace to you right now. Grace to you favor to you, favor to you. I bless you right now in Jesus' name as you seek first the kingdom. What am I doing? I'm invoking the blessing of God in and favor of God 
in your life. Lift your hand to say, I'm blessed. I'm empowered to prosper. I'm highly favored. I'm an overcomer. God wants you to live a jubilant life. He wants you to know he's El Shaddai, the God that's more than enough. So you can, number three, as I just mentioned, put first things first. Third John 2, my friends, as an overcomer, God wants you to know that it's his will that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. That word in the Greek means that all would go well with you. God, I don't care what you're going through. God wants all to go well with you. And as you seek him first, he adds the blessing. He adds the encouragement. He adds the deliverance. He adds the provision. He adds the grace. He adds the He adds everything good. Hallelujah. So you can do his will. And number four, to live an exalted, overcoming life, we have to say the say-so of God. Oswald Chambers said, you have to learn to say what God is saying. So here's in thir Hebrews 13, 5, and I'll end with this. In Hebrews 13, 5, the Lord says, I will never leave you or desert you. So we say boldly, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear or be anxious. Amen. Because God is with me. Hallelujah. He'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He'll never desert me. So God has said, by his stripes you were healed. So we say, God say so, by his wounds and stripes I'm healed. God says, I'm your shepherd, you shall not lack. So we say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack a thing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet, still waters. He restores my soul. He leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Can I get an amen? And I'm telling you, not tragedy, not sickness, not disease, not poverty, not addiction, not lack is following you, but goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our life. Can I get an amen? So an overcomer overcomes every problem, and they Nike, they bring home the victory. In Jesus' name, to live an exuberant life, a happy life, a powerful life. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is their provider. Hallelujah. And they seek first the kingdom, and God adds everything to them, and they speak and say what God is saying. Hallelujah. And the word of God self-fulfills for all the promises of God are what? Yes and amen. So my friends, be encouraged tonight, for nothing shall separate you from the love of God and God's blessings. Receive it, walk in it, and just know in your knower that you're going to carry off the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner, our victory, and our miracle. Receive it now and walk in it in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Life Nuggets. Hallelujah. Amen. Just remember, danningram.org. You can listen to my music, read the books. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, if I've instant messaged you or text you to change uh, the CD, amen, listen to it, like it, share it with other people. If you've never heard change, go to danningram.org, and the, the album covers on the front of the website. Just click on it. carries you right to YouTube. Save it. Amen. And just get into it. I listen to it all the time. Hallelujah. And I carry off the victory because I'm an overcomer. Hallelujah, because I believe and because he overcame. Check it. You too, see me too, shall overcome. Yeah, take care. God bless you. And know that you're more than a conqueror through him who loves you. God bless you. I'm out. Shalom, shalom. Nothing missing and nothing broken in Jesus' name. Amen.